Ah, oh, so good. We have enough dust to make whatever the heck we want. And you know what we're gonna make? The Control Paladin. Yes, welcome back, Control of Din. Mmm. Alright, how do we wish to make this work? Ooh, baby. So first things first, let's go to Rumble. I'm actually gonna use the restroom in just a moment, and let's make that moment right now. Stay tuned, we're gonna build a Control Paladin. Just stay here. Ah, uh, oh, I made it. Oh, oh, god damn it. Oh, fuck, walking is so hard. All right. Whew. All right. Oh, Jesus. All right, Shervala the tiger. Okay, let's let's also make sure. Let's go to crafting and see if there's anything we didn't get. Uh, a new challenger. That's right. Do we even want this? I kind of think that I might actually want that, but let's see. Let's see what we get stuck with first. So, do I want double flash of light? Part of me feels like yeah. Part of me feels like yeah. Okay. We might actually want this one. I think I want at least one of these. We're gonna need enough healing in this game. I priestacle. All right, let's 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 mosey on through standard. What actually feels like good to us? Well, we're definitely gonna put in these true silvers. I'd be hard pressed not to run two consecrations, right? Would we ever run a Glass Knight? Unlikely. We might even run a Prismatic Lens. We'll probably run Double Spike Ridge Steed. I mean, be hard pressed not to run a Spike Ridge Steed. Be hard pressed not to run a Sun Keeper Tarim. Be hard pressed not to run Tyrion Fordering. Maybe we also run. Uther of the Ebon Blade, too. It's a lot of weapons. We have a timeout, though. Would we run Lanessa Sun Sorrow? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah, just due to the fact that we would get extra Spike Ridge Steeds. Maybe. 
Maybe not. Oh my god damn, my neck is just a big old POS. We're, we're almost certainly going to be getting our quality consecrates, are we not? We'd be hard pressed not to do that. I don't know why I'm so into this word hard pressed today. We'd be hard pressed! Maybe a lesser pearl spellstone fits into the deck? And Primordial Drake is in. It is in. Probably need one py wild pyromancer then. I don't know how much we need these puppies. I'm just putting in the usual suite of very strong cards. The usual suite of them. So we have a very grindy long-term game plan. We're, we're super high on the... Super heavy on the high end. Probably probably a pair of these guys. These are, these are very hard to ever say no to. After shitting all over this card, I actually think we are going to put in that legendary, huh? <laughs> we'll want one pot wild pyromancer. I highly doubt we'll want two. If we take a look at this, we have one spell to... I don't actually think we have enough spells to run Shrivala. Is Shrivala odd or even? Is it 25? It's 25 cost? I feel like Uther the Avon Blade makes sense. I don't necessarily know if we need Doomsayer. I don't necessarily know if we need that. Like this... Th okay, so... Card draw, we, we probably actually don't need a lay on hands, because this this is like a fucking steep curve, man. We only need things low now, huh? Yeah. Only need the low guys, the low dropos. So I actually think I am gonna run both of these guys. These seem actually fine. Totally fine. Obviously, it's a good defensive card. It lets us stay alive. Helps activate Zandalari Templar. We'll probably need a little bit more Healy Dealies. Okay, what, what are just sick Paladin cards or sick standard cards that I'm forgetting? I think, I think we might actually run this poppy guy. So don't, don't don't talk to me about combo cards quite yet. Cards that if you do this, then you can do this, that sort of thing. I'm talking like Primordial Drake is just an insanely good card. Sunkeeper Turn was an insanely good card. Tyrion Fordering's an insanely good card. Um, no Blood Claw. Maybe no Blood Claw, but maybe yes Blood Claw. Blood Claw is just a great anti-aggro tool. I, I think I might I think I might very well run that. Like, if we say, we have the Aldor Peacekeepers in, good. Uh, Stonehill Defender. Oh my god, thank god for chat. Thank god for chat. This is god. Of course, of course we're going to run that card. Lich King, maybe. Yeah, maybe I don't even run Uther or the Ebon Blade. <sighs> Ciliax does feel kind of good here, huh? We got a hell of a lot of ways to win. I I, I do think a Ziliax is good. Kangor. So I mean, right now we actually have not terribly many ways to heal. Not terribly many ways to heal, so we, we should absolutely get some extra ways to heal. I think we can actually do without the Righteous Protector. Put in this.
Yeah, Ziliac seems good. Lay on hands. Uh, I don't think we actually need the card draw. I mean, our curve is pretty dang steep. Shervala. I don't think we're going to draw enough, honestly. Or play enough spells. Hate to say it, but I think Thekel might actually be sufficiently good. Uh, I think I just want a little bit more life gain. I feel a little weird running. These dudes. It's Benevolent Jin. It might, it might be the one to do. Okay. Okay. Okay, cat. Okie dokie. Let's see here. See, I'm thinking of doing something like this. And like this? But maybe Blood Claw. Okay, cat. Blood Claw seems to actually go against my wish to be anti aggro. I almost feel like just a Doomsayer is fine. Doomsayer is probably the correct choice here. So this is... I'm worried we don't actually have enough healing. We're just going to give this a, a, a shot real fast. I do want to adjust my buff at all day, Adin. Which... Cut you... I want to adjust this just a pinch real fast here. Okay, 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 okay. Easy there, kitten. Alright, you're a good cat, but you've got to pull your shit together. Alright, okay. Alright. Okay. We're going to put you on the ground. Alright. Oh my god. Um... This feels dangerous to cut this, but I think we... Because if we did like this, trail it, and then Loa... Oops, no, it's Tiger. Where the tiger I actually think is good in this deck. I think this is not defensive enough, though. I think maybe the immortal prelates just don't fit in this deck. Crazy as that sounds. I think this is a good deck, though. Alright. Alright. We are now going to play with the control it in. I think the only advantage that Thekel provides is it provides an ability to... Hey. Hey. Why are you being so bad today? So this has the Zandalari Templar that's new. It has Timeout, which I think we only need one of. It has Immortal Prelate, it has Flash of Light. We're against a mage. Probably keep the Consecrate, because there's enough aggro mages out there. Job done. So, the way this deck will work is it's just like a usual Control Paladin. Control Paladins typically are relatively good at just getting moderate threats out all the time. The thing that's really nice about this is the Immortal Prelate gives us a little bit more longevity. Okay. Cool. Out of my jungle. Um, yeah, I think we always go for the Sun the Keeper. Yeah. Primordial Drakes for value, Consecrates for value. Everything in this deck is just pure value. You know what I mean? Out of my jungle. We'll keep Magnetize with Zilliax. It's just, it's just a well-rounded good card. That's it. Just a well-rounded good card. It's all I have. These well-rounded good cards. For justice, the battle. All right, so we're gonna be up against turn two, Kalisef. Hi, Sheriff. Hi. Do you want to come over? Let me move these coffee cups out of the way. Move my hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Cool. 
cool. We can actually do this, huh? Justice. I think I want the Justice. benevolent gin down. Look at this. Already getting some healy dealies. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, okay, so this is part of the reason why I don't think that we necessarily need a Spike Ridge Steed. Ah, excuse me, not Spike Ridge Steed. A, um... What's the big thing? Lay on hands. That's why I don't... Generally, Moby Pain, that we don't really need to lay on hands. Because we, we kind of, like, play a threat each turn. This would make a pretty dope silence target. It still feels okay to me, doesn't it? As you it still feels mostly okay to me. We have the Zandalari Templar as silence targets. We have the Spike Ridge Steeds as targets. We have the Tyrion Fordering as targets. And it's good that we have so many targets because ideally we'll want to be able to have an Immortal Prelate. You know, maybe I just run one Immortal Prelate. What to do? What to do? Maybe I just don't worry about that. Maybe it's just in some conditional matchups I hold back the Immortal Prelates. I mean, having an un silenceable immortal prelate that I can just keep blasting out again and again and again and again. That does seem quite good. This is restore four health and draw a card, so this is actually quite nice. Fuck. If our opponent is a big mage. Wow, that's pretty sick. That's pretty nice, huh? <laughs> How do I deal with this threat? I mean, I think we just... Oh, god dang, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, I think that we can just go bonk and bonk like this, right? We'll wind up healing up. God! Okay, you may have heard me say this yesterday during stream, that one of the reasons why four mana big cards are really good is that you can play a spell and play the big thing on the same turn. Contrast this with Tyrion Fordring, where I could have just played Tyrion. This is why 8, 9, 10 mana legendaries sometimes struggle compared to things like vanilla large creatures that are 4, 5, 6 in cost. Put your faith in the light or just I'm going to go ahead and swing in here in case Tyrion Fordring can get popped. Harry Potter 191 says greetings from Poland, man. Greetings right back at you. I've always wanted to go to Poland. Because I want to see the museum of my favorite artist, Zdzisław Beczynski. Okay. through, right? Never been to IM Katowice? Nope, never have. Never have I ever, Shiny Akamura. Pinch Bombs is the guy that painted his nightmares. I don't actually know if they were nightmares that he was painting of his own stuff. Or whether that's just sort of like, you know, the Ruma Mill, <laughs> as it were. Okay, I think I know how I want to close this puppy out. Go like this. Oh, I don't know how to freaking count, dude. Yeah, this Immortal Prelate feels like it sits in the hand kind of a lot. That's fine. I kind of want to start going into Baron's face. I mean, like, a lot of, uh, Bekshinsky's... Is his name spelled Zidzislaw? Yes, it's Zdzislaw. As far as I understand. 
I don't speak Polish, but that is my understanding. It's just swell. Oof! Summoning one ones kind of stinker is here. The battle. Let's see what comes out of this. Mortal Prelate keeps any enchantments. Yes, it does keep any enchantments that, uh, that it has. Okay. Alright, this is going to turn to the grindiest game. Isn't that the second Lich King we've been up against? Wait, where'd the first Lich King come from? Am I missing something? You got one out of stone? Oh my god. That card's so good. Like this. And then like this. I guess it's generally okay to just play out an immortal prelate, maybe? I love the big mage deck, by the way. I, so, th it says it keeps any enchantments, but an enchantment is not a defined term in this game. So, d does this, because this set them to three, is that an enchantment? I'm, I'm seeing yes it will and no it won't. Both of them are appearing in chat. Well, the Immortal... Okay, let's... Th this game is going to be a good test for the Immortal Prelate grind. Will Immortal Prelate... Be able to... Um, let us win in fatigue against Baron? Nice. Ouch. For justice. We can hit like this. For justice. I do think we need to keep up the pressure, so I'm going to do this. Let's go ahead and hero power first, just to show them we're not afraid to kill our own creatures. Oh, you tried in a match earlier and it was turned into a 3-3. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that means that Immortal Prelate actually has some synergy with Sunkeeper Tarim, and that's grand. Yeah. Hey, Harry Potter, uh, one nine one. It is it is pronounced Zdzisław Vekshinsky. I'm doing that eighty percent acceptably. I hope not a flame strike. Like the stars. Is there any way we can kill that four one? A little tough, but uh, are you familiar with the artist Francis Bacon? Oh, god, that rings a bell. Cat says, Your pronunciation is on point. Yes, the end is coming. All right, this is going to be a slow game. If we get Uther the Ebon Blade out, that's going to help a lot. Nice! Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. Depending on what we draw. Okay. Loa! Here my call. I should have consecrated.
Perfect, perfect. Welcome back. Good to have you here. Now this this could backfire spectacularly. Still have an immortal prelate, but we're gonna be in a little bit of pain here. Yowch. Drew that one right off the top. I think we cannot win this one, is that right? I think we died. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. The victory. That was an interesting little match. So we were able to have all the threats we so desired. We were able to do that. I'm actually starting to wonder if my comment about this... I mean, a lot of these control decks will not run a lay on hands. Because we just, like, run out of room in our hands. But maybe that's actually better. If there aren't enough buffs for Prelate, you, you, you don't need buffs on this guy. He can just be an anti-fatigue thing. Just be an anti-fatigue thing. Might even just run, like, a Immortal Prelate. Maybe something like this, and then this. Something like that. Hmm. I think I do want two of these. I think I incorrectly played less of these. Call to arms to summon a prelate? Ah, it doesn't seem that great. Don't want to make too many changes to this deck. Because I think that that was a reasonable game. Our opponent did top deck a polymorph. How do I squeeze this puppy in? I don't think we need more than one of these. Maybe we don't need the Zilliax. This is actually probably correct if this is the direction we're going to go in. We are pretty steep on the curve, but we have a pretty good amount of healing. Timeout seems bad. Timeout might be completely unnecessary, but I'm kind of thinking of it as like an anti-aggro card. Don't need the Aldor Peacekeepers. They tend to be pretty good, just generally speaking. Uther. Jazz and Whiskey says you're a fan of crosswords and more of a scoping kind of guy. Um, whatever's getting run in uh, Nancy Drew, that's what I like. Any new neutrals you might want to include? I'd have to think. Ooh, that's a shit hand. Alright, we found, we found the problem case. Oh, it's Baron again. Oh, this is perfect. We, we get to retest our theories against the exact same deck. This is fantastic. All right, so we'll go ahead and play this guy down right now. This is the same person we were just against. Ah, oh, it's gonna be saving those polys. My hope is that we have a sufficient amount of Oh, that's a good one. My thought is that we have a sufficient amount of things that we can drop as large threats that our opponent will want to. I also generally want to drop one threat at a time instead of building a board. Alright, let's see here. We're going to do high value and drop things one at a time. Ugh! Is there ever a scenario where you think you fit last night in? Not really. It's just such a weak card, you know? I think I just pass. We have a lot of heals in the deck, so we can use our health as a little bit of a resource here. The thing that we want to be sure to be very careful of is that we don't do something like we did last game where we had we had a lot of threats out all at once. I think that's the key. Because then it was like Blizzard, Flame Strike, a lot of value out of all of those cards. 
Just keep playing the Immortal Prowler. I think our deck tracker's glitched a little bit. We are, in a sense, cheating a little bit, because we know the exact deck that we're up against. I don't see a single reason not to just wait another turn and slam down the Immortal, or the uh, Primordial Drake. <laughs> a tiebreaker says, that's just good scouting, that's right, I'm such a sick scouter. That hurts a little bit. Alright, we might abruptly die. But we also might abruptly live. We threw the Ebon Blade, giving us the ability to heal is really nice. Doesn't he know your deck too? Yeah. Frost Lich Jaina. Do not fear. Fear those who wield. Uh, let's see here. I guess we Uther now. The light's justice has failed. Fall by my hands. Heal a little. So we're, uh, we're going to be disabled this turn. I probably want a Spike Ridge Steed on a the Four Horsemen. Warriors of the Frozen Wastes. That's really good. That card is really damn good. Okay. Do we want to run a Lich King hard in our deck? It's, it's plausible. It is plausible. Is our opponent going to mill? Oh, there's a mill, there's a way. Yep, there's the mill. Fall by my hand! we actually want to get full value, so we do something like this, right? Don't lower our health at all. So, oh, that's a good one to get rid of. So our, our theory is that in this matchup, the big mages run a lot of big sweepers. So if we play, for instance, this and this the same turn, which we clearly could have, it'll it the our opponent will get extra value out of sweepers. What our opponent lacks is single target removal. Perfect. So typically what we'll wind up seeing is this type of response. Spending one of those nice juicy sweepers. Trying to clear out one of our threats. So I think I whack like this. And then we can run out of Tyrion. Put your faith in the light. And I think I actually do go wide here. Azeroth will be purified. So okay, it's Meteor and Polymorph. There's just just those four. Just those four. And we're actually gonna get to do the test to see if our Lay on Hands is assistful in this matchup. We are light on our low end, aren't we? Mm. Put your faith in the light. Blah, 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 blah. Could have put the Templar on the other side of Stegadon, block the meteor play. That's true. Nice. Soul is gone. Arcane Officer is gone. Polymorph is gone. Whoa, well, that. 
Actually, it's nice. Actually, it's quite nice. So again, we play one threat at a time. Keep summoning these dudes. Goofy says, wasn't Lay Your Hands on Me a, a Bon Jovi song? I don't know. I don't know songs by people that I'm supposed to know. I'm just kind of an underground guy, you know? All right. So this is why we play one large threat at a time. Our opponent is down on a meteor, down on a polymorph. And we're winning in the fatigue battle. Okay, so we kind of have to do it like this. We kind of have to hit this. And we have to shrink this guy before summoning this out. Because otherwise this would crack right into there. You want to run out another Benevolent Gin? No, I think that we're just going for the really long-term grind value. So our opponent has one Polymorph left. Oof, ow, my bones. Okay. some, but not the most. Immortal Prelate. I think I do the pretty basic play here. I'm not going to play the Immortal Prelate this turn. Do I? No, no, no. I want to do this because I need to start emptying my hand for a lay on hands. Oh god, my math is so bad. Yeah, of course, of course our opponent has Blizzard. That's why we were trying to run that out. That's why running out two power things is good. Careful with our qualities. So seven cards left in our opponent's deck. True silver, we're frozen, so we wouldn't be able to do anything. Nice. Nice play. Okay. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. Yeah, so I think that what we're going to do is we're going to flash a light first. We have another Immortal Prelate. Okay. Start emptying cards from the hand. Yes, that can get blown up, and I'm okay with that. I have a lay on hands here. If a really big threatening board comes up, we time out to stall. And then we're going to equality... Ah, Pyromancer to clear it out. Oh. oh my god, I'm actually starting to get some good momentum too. Alright. So now we have six cards, so we can do this. We can go to seven. Grand. And now I can run out this... So that's nine cards. We don't want a hero power here because this can tap in and summon a dude. Frostmorn calls. I think we just do nothing. I think nothing is good here. Doomsayer, our opponent will summon another thing. It has the same problem. I play this, it goes hit, hit, and then ping. And then it would turn it in. Doomsayer's a water elemental, prelate's a water elemental. 
Frolitz actually might not be a water elemental. The frozen throne calls. Standing. Just standing. Now, note our opponent does have one polymorph left. Has but a single polymorph left. Out of my jungle. Really nice. Probably, probably the Tyrion. Probably the Tyrion, just the value. Hungry Etten, high health. We do have another Doomsayer for the significant turn. So I think, do we hero power here? What a, what a cool little match we got here, man. Do we Doomsayer? Do we Four Horsemen? I think we're, we're not intending on clearing this board, and six water elementals is effectively the exact same thing. It's two water elementals, so I think that's fine. I think it's fine that we are just focusing on the delay and trying to just be able to heal a little bit. Our opponent is pretty clearly saving that polymorph for our mortal prelate. That's A-OK -okay by me, my friend. We are going into timeout next turn, yeah. I really need that equality, man. The frozen throne. Calls. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I actually might need another Firemancer in this. Community pass puts us in a bit of a pickle, doesn't it? The frozen throne calls. This is the only thing that I can see that gives me a reasonable chance at doing some goodness the following turn. No peace. No he is going to get another water elemental, but I think I have to count on that. Maybe I shouldn't have even passed. Now everything's sufficiently low that I can... Plausibly. That's nice. That is a nice one. Alright, so if we get sheeped on Tyrion, oh fuck. Oh, that's right, Immortal Prelates do synergize with... By the way, this deck tracker is wrong, we have six cards in the deck. It's two Immortal Prelates. Uh, do we... Oh, we actually do have another equality in there. Wow, that's... I thought we only had one equality left. That's fantastic. I must True Silver and Azilliax. Truth is found in <laughs> I forgot about you. Alright, let's get some healing going. Oh, 
Now, if it's a sheep, our opponent doesn't have any sheeps anymore. If it's sheep ping, our opponent does not have any sheeps anymore. Boom, there it is. Boom! I'm telling you, man, one threat at a time. That's how we do it. What a grind. Are you afraid? Yeah. Keep summoning the two twos. Being able to summon this every turn is really nice. Woo! Finally buffed a prelate. Buff prelate is the sort of obvious, like holy shit we can do it kind of combo. But I will argue that the real value of the prelate is that it allows you to win in infinite situations like this. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. Ooh, cold. Welcome back. We're doing it, man. Shivering, are you afraid? I'm actually shivering right now. I, I left my window open too long, and it's December here. And even in California, it gets cold in December. Holy shit, we are doing it, baby. Flame strike. Well, that's... that's really bad. <sighs> this is about what I see. Unity. Need to save this for the equality. Yeah, that does become a thing. Well, this is about what I got, huh? Actually, maybe I should have cracked it into there and kept it through my life. My back. I think Equality wins this game. Ooh, the shitty, the shitty prelate. about what I got. I think that's about what I got. I think our opponent may have may have gotten us. I don't think there's any way to remove this. The meteors and the uh, polymorphs are all gone. That's good. That's good. Sort of in the same situation, man. Quality wins it. I think the quality wins it. Oh, that's an interesting little card, huh? I don't actually think the immortal color wins it. Just trade into the bigger boy. The end is coming. <sighs> and so I think that the way that our opponent might try to win is to uh, try to heal by popping one of these elementals and then just start pinging us in the face. I'm not even sure what can be in this hand. 
another Firefly. I don't, this deck doesn't run Fireballs and instant damage. It might run one Pyroblast. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that card. I think I do summon these guys. You can shoot this and shoot me in the face. I got a true silver in here somewhere. This card, huh? Gotta do that. Gotta do that. Whoa, fuck. I think Baron might have gotten us. Baron may have just gone through. Oh shit, <laughs> the wrong one. You have triumph. Alright. This time. Didn't quite do it. I'm not I'm not sure we win that matchup, but I think at the very least, I feel like there's some merit to our control it in deck. Maybe that's the reason to just have one prelate. Yeah, maybe. Ugh. That actually, I think that, I think that makes sense. Oh, you, you should have played the 3-3 three, three pro last time. That could have been, that could have been the thing. That could have been the thing. Magni! For Cosmodon! I will fight Yeah, I think that's, honor. that's a change that we can do. I, I'm kind of skewing a little high on the high end. Kind of going a little high. Well, I think that's okay. I think just cutting down to one pro still achieves the same sort of thing that we want. So we're against a warrior. We don't really know what sort of deck we're up against, so we're going to Consecrate. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, 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 it's cold. Okay. We have seen nothing. We don't see any odd or evenness, so... Great. I don't actually know how good Uther the Ebon Blade is. I like Uther the Ebon Blade quite a bit. Ooh. All right. So, what do I think about our deck? Zilliax is one I don't feel too strongly about. Excuse me. I like the Zondalari Templar quite a bit. I think perhaps in that matchup. Um, what we say is that we need to save every Spike Ridge Steed for an Immortal Prelate and try to bait out the other threats, as is. Zilliax is just a very well-rounded, strong boy. Alright, so it's a dragony guy. We can shrink this. How many big dragons does this deck even have, huh? I actually think this is fine to run this out a little earlier. I mean, like, if you look at our deck, what's the way that we deal with huge creatures? Slam. and Jen ain't helping us here. The end is coming! Seems an acceptable time. Who's the best Death Knight? I think that it's it's pretty much Jaina. Rexar's really good. 
Are there any other good ones? Probably Blood, Re Blood Regal Dawn's really good. My dragon be hungry. Awesome! Awesome! Yeah! Hell yeah! Me a little too face up to do that, huh? Oh, yeah, Malfurion's also really good. Oh, do I hear a kitty? Hello. Oh my god. Oh. I, I can hardly look down. I can hardly look down. I'm like such an old man. <laughs> I look more like an automaton, though. What even happened here? Two dragons in the hand? Oh, that's right. I probably have to be able to deal with these threats. Zalukster, happy nearly seven years. 83 months in a row. <sighs> Great. Yeah. Armor up. Armor away. Glad I put this guy in here now. Heal for so far. <laughs> oh, that's the worst one we could have gotten. We kill his card draw once he's overdrawn. All right, looks like we're, this is another match. We're gonna have to get Spike Ridge Steedy, huh? <laughs> Shit! Oh, big old piles of crap. I'd rather play the actual threat first. Alright, we have an infinite deck versus an infinite deck. And I think my infinite deck will eventually have a faster pace, because I'm just drawing an immortal prelate every turn. I dream and the world trembles. Okay. It is an immortal prelate. I mean, this, this does kind of suck a bit. We also want to be a little careful about going too wide. Yep, you can slam it. It's totally fine by me. Fine by me! That's all right, too. We got a dream down. No problems. Dead man's shield slam. All right. How wish we to do this, huh? What's this one gonna be? Deal three damage. Fuck. Last warning. As you desire. Put your faith in the light. Probably just moving on up. All right, this guy's now ready to go. Yeah, I'm leaning way back today, man. We gotta be gentle with our little necky neck. I think we we are literally in the all-time slowest matchups back to back. I think I might <laughs> switch decks just to get something a little more proactive. Plan. Going infinite, man. Isn't release day normally slower? Yeah, people like to do more experimental things. Like, I've been seeing calls for first play an Immortal Prelate, and then get a Spike Ridge Steed on it, and then let it die, and then once it's dead, call to arms to bring it back out onto the battlefield. I mean, it's plausible that that could be good, but I think just some good old beat the ass decks are probably going to be some of the better plays. Dragon Lord. 
Oh my god, summoning mechs, summoning dragons. <laughs> what is this guy? Huh? What is this guy? This guy should be ready to pop out? Yeah. Let's first draw a cord. Right, we want to do like this, and then we want to flash a light. This guy. Alright, there's the immortal prelates. These cards we don't really care that much about. We're waiting for Spike Ridge Steed, because we essentially have to immortal prelate Spike Ridge Steed to be able to go toe to toe with this infinite warrior. Who's this hero? This is the uh, Mecha DK. Oh, baby. Created by Dragon Roar. Ooh! I think I don't want to pop my face into that. I think I'm just gonna go. Yes. I'm taking seven damage there is a little bit much. A little bit much for me. Maybe it's actually okay because I have lifesteal here. Oh yeah, the play was probably Aldor and Pop. That's probably the play. Keep the Aldors out. Oof. It is Caleb Lowry. It is working. Why Flash of Light instead of Bells? Well, a big reason that we're running Flash of Light is that it's good against aggro. I mean, if you look at our deck, we kind of have a thick top end. We were almost able to go and win a game because we had so much long-term value against a Frostlich Jig. So, I feel relatively good about our setup in that regard. Gotta crack into that lady. For justice. And so, I, I don't think we want to be thinking about ways to get more value out of this necessarily. Um, but also, the Flash of Light is critical for our- what? Zondalari Templar? What? It's not displaying properly. It's not displaying properly. Oh my god. But yeah, we, we we want the Flash of Light to help enable us for the Zondalari Templar. Because it gets plus four, plus four in taunt if we've restored more than ten health. I'd rather double down with Spike Ridge Steve on a single Prowler or buff both of them. I'd much rather buff both of them individually. Much, much, much. Hugely. Massively, overwhelmingly prefer that second one. Alright. I think I'm going to be a little more mana efficient and play this now. No. I think I do have to wait, because our opponent has showed a propensity to be very countery with the tech. Oh. Yeah, the reason I don't want a Mega Prelate and a Baby Prelate is if I play the Baby Prelate ever, it can die and get shuffled back into the deck, and then I get to replay another Baby Prelate, and my Big Prelate will probably never die. Well, not never die, but it'll probably have a much harder time dying, which means that I will less often be redrawing that one, and more often be redrawing the baby one. So I really want to have two juicy prelates. Get the fuck out of here. Is this a reasonable equality turn? I think, yeah. I mean, it's just a prelate. I can't do this because it will set this to low health, right? I wonder. Prelate also keeps a quality. Fuck. Right, well, I guess we have one play then. Justice has failed. Healing. Maybe we can't win this one either, man. There's too many good infinite decks, huh? 
Probably getting low health is good because it means it keeps getting shuffled back and you can replay it. Yeah, maybe that's actually correct. Hmm. Infinite, the new meta. We're gonna have to build ourselves an aggro deck then, man. <laughs> My even buff it in, I actually think is gonna be very nice. Russell Battles. Well, that's good. Execute on that, huh? Pop this in the face. It's plausible we can win with a four horseman win condition. Huh, <laughs> why? Hoist. Huge dragon seems good. Kill this. What's our health at? Plenty high. I feel I feel okay. I feel okay. It's the going infinite. It's gonna be a bit of an issue. I also think our mage deck kind of went awry. Our mage matchup kind of went awry because we wound up playing <clears throat> too many prelates too early, I think. Cyril87, happy four years. Happy 49 months. <sighs> this would be a good time for a mage to play. <laughs> went to right? Of course you do. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Who's gonna hit who? Vagabond. Oh, I love that fuse thing. Yeah, I got the uh, baby prelate a lot. I think I needed to just hold on to the prelates. <laughs> Holy <laughs> lord. Weapons is a lot of value. Oh. oh my god, dude. I sprained my neck so hard. I don't even know what I wound up doing. To cause it just woke up Monday and was in the pain. Hmm. It's from the kissing injury when you were 14. Damn, what a reference, Bertato style. What an OG reference. So massage time. I got a massage last night. It seems to have inflamed everything. Alex Straza? All good. Follow the rule. Unity. Ah, ah. be a little careful. We're getting a bit a close to... Uh, Getting a bit close to danger time. Timeout might actually be cuttable. Timeout might be very, very cuttable. Alternatively, we can go lighter on the defense early on. And be good. We are getting into brawl territory. Now, the funny thing is that if our opponent is trying to go infinite, a way that we can get some value is if too many brawls wind up in there, huh? I've been there before. Yeah, Nutty Stats is, is the mostly walking plan for Thursday to do that uh, StarCraft Pro Gamer visual novel. Oh, you bet your butt it is. We're going to be playing Don't Forget Our Esports Dream. It's a visual novel about being a Brood War Pro Gamer, man. It's so good. I feel like this is a multi-turn board clear. Alright, still didn't quite do it. Eight cards, go to seven. Not good enough? Not good enough, we think? Probably just this. 
Yeah, that's way better. We might not ever cast a Slay on hand, so that's okay. That's a good one. Leave me be. Oniris is speaking of mostly walking. I found out that you can change the fonts in Ultima 7. If you're interested, you can Google alternate Ultima 7 fonts. Oh. Okay, I should support media. Okay, let me write down. Ultima. Is the back of this all? Ultima 7 fonts. I'm writing down a list of things I'm going to do over my three-week hiatus. What What even happened? Leave me be. I do think this is a fine time to run out. I think I think we're actually doing it. I think we're doing it. Speaking of your hiatus, what's your Fallout New Vegas mod list looking like? Asked DBR Connie. I don't have it on me right now. It's just some generalized enhancements and texture improvements. For the most part, a relatively unchanged experience. Four gigabyte patcher, some anti-crash tech. All I'm looking to do with my Fallout New Vegas mod list is make sure the game has a little bit more prettiness to it. Seems like a good Sunkeeper to rim circumstance. No peace, no I think we're actually gonna win this, which is crazy to me. Fallen Vegas is the number one. Hmm. Uh, Dad, Google Matt says, do you prefer Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 3 for the gameplay or story? Um, my recollection of the Fallout 3 story is that it was... Whatever. It was very MacGuffin-y. You know, like... The best one is Fallout 1. Fallout 1's the best. Fallout 1 and 2 are my favorite Fallouts, by a large margin. What a rush! Yeah, I mean, I love, I loved playing Fallout Three so much, man. I loved that game. Just fun. It's just fun to splash around in that big puddle. You know what I mean? my friend. I think we do win. Fall by my I think we do win. Yeah, see, the thing is that, like, w when you have an open world game, I like... I mean, this is actually not a threat. That is so funny. This is like not a big deal in the slightest for us. I hope we actually draw all the candle. One. One by I mean, this card sucks, right? That was merely a setback. Two candles and a steed, yeah. I think we win. I think we actually win this, just straight up. But doesn't this increase the probability that this never opens? Right? Don't you just burn a candle most of the time? Great. So now this can never get resurrected. Perfect. Nice. The time has come. I mean, just in case, I'm going to time out right now. Alright. Runs this card and plays to lose with it. Is that what we're seeing here? 
Actually, we are running a little low on health. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have ever played this one, but that's fine. We need, even if we're going infinite with Dirtlers, we're just summoning these Death Knights every turn. Like, we win next turn, right? Yep. Gotta do it. Welcome back, Immortal Prelate. My dragon be hungry. Lord, hear my call. Death was merely a setback. I mean, we're getting there. Only gonna have one spike rich steed. Our opponent dreamed our old prelate, so we lost its enchantingness. You see, I think that our opponent has infinite value, but we have faster yeah, infinite value. I'm almost out of cards. Heals it's gonna be good here. Like summoning a 2 2 per turn. The real problem for Vegabond is Vegabond is losing on card advantage. Vegabond is drawing one card a turn and can occasionally do something nifty with the hero power. We are able to always summon a 2 2 that's threatening to end the game. So our opponent is generally having to spend a card every turn ish. And a lot of times those cards are just useless dead man's hand. That's annoying. Doesn't really change the story at hand, though. I'm out of cards. Out of cards. One That's so funny. I think we're actually okay. I think so. I think we're actually okay. How come there's only two handle candles? Our opponent threw out a uh, thing. I think I might actually have to doomsayer myself just to, to not die. No peace, no rest. Hmm. Might be dead. What a rush. Why the fellas having a Stegadon buff? Oh shit, we died. Well, I think this is maybe the only way I can see out of this. Only way I can see to live, right? Got one of these puppies dying every turn, huh? Maybe we do lose this. Mm. Isn't it amazing that we get all this extra oomph from the immortal prelates? And our problem is that we I'm just can't quite... We just can't quite deal with the things that go infinite. Cool. Welcome. 
we're just gonna have to die. Hopefully we draw the other candle, that'd be dope. Nice. If our opponent passes, we just die. Will our opponent just pass? I'm out of Fuck. Cards. Our opponent figured it out. Oh, and three, man. Alright. We couldn't win against Strictly Infinite. You know, here's actually what I think that we should have we should have done. I actually think instead of this lay on hands, I think we actually just need another large threat. Because it's like we're we're almost getting there. We're almost doing it. I actually I'm gonna try this, and I might even like cut the time out as well. We are like really skimping on the low end, but ah. Oh. If any of you are having any weirdnesses with the audio, just go ahead and refresh. Go ahead and refresh. There's sometimes a little lag out issue that can occur. We're gonna we're gonna keep trying the double prelate play. We're gonna keep trying it. The light shall bring victory. I will fight. We're gonna, with honor. we're gonna keep the prelate as is. We're gonna keep the prelate as is. It could be possible that just cutting both prelates and just doing a thicker, stronger, better deck is just better. <laughs> right? That's probably correct. What do we even want here? Against a priest, though? Probably just this. Because, I mean, like, these flash of lights are just a really nice early game pickup. See, part of me thinks that what you can do is you could cut, um... I kind of like my Zondelari Templar. They're just a really nice cost. Quickly. Oh, my good goddamn. That hurts so much. I really, really, really like flash of light the way it feels. Oh. Alright. Taffy Taff. Oh. Uther the e Ebon or, or I guess the Ebon Blade. Uther the Ebon Blade is not really a win condition. It's more of just a strong value card. Really strong value card. I like the addition of the Lich King. I like the addition of the more of the high end. Here we go! Boom! There it is. Tap to tap. If only you could flash a light in that. God, story my life. It hurts so much. John Limitless. Happy 26 months. As I realize I haven't been here in a month. Hi, chat. Yo, what up, John? Oh, now the other side's starting to tighten up. Oh, next are so dumb. I <sighs> just gotta breathe in deeply and then exhale. <sighs> Dude, look at the beat down we're putting on this guy. We're at nine cards. I think I can still pass and just keep slaying it. This is what I love about the Paladin Hero Power, just the infinite one ones. Maybe get some icy hot for that neck. Works every time for me, good sir. I might do that. Uh. 
Uh, Dad, we are not playing through Willy Beamish anymore. We are switching over to, don't forget my eSports dream. Maybe you could actually do an even control paladin, maybe? Perfect. This is why we run the Aldor Peacekeepers. Dragon Priest, huh? Dragon Priest, though. Too much neck exercise. Yeah, I've been kind of going like... And tensing my neck a little bit much when I'm lifting. When I'm lifting, bro. Maybe I should drop my weights again. What a bone dragon. Perfect. We are doing all that we intend to do. To battle, to battle, to battle, to battle. Depending on how our board looks, we might even like slam down a Sunkeeper through him. I'm gonna have to go get some more water, some more coffee in a little bit. I wanna make sure I'm drinking enough water. Oh gosh. Hmm. What's it gonna be, Taffy Taff? Chauncey! Wow. What do you know? So, the cards that I want to trade in, I actually do want to trade in these 1-1s one -ones here. Because if there's a Psychic Scream, I'm happy to get all these back. Psychic Scream Insurance. Why no da Undertaker? Oh, dude. Metaphor oh, Bozima, yes, dude, yes. Oh, of course, we should be running the Undertaker. Thank you, Bozima. Hot damn, that's a great choice. The Undertaker gets shuffled into the deck. What battle cries does it get? It would get the Tyrion. It would get the Immortal Prelate. Oh, interesting. Wow, that's an interesting suggestion. How do we squeeze that one in there? I think, the, I think the Benevolent Gen is just, it's total pack filler. Wow. Nice. What's this one? We gotta obliterate. Destroy a minion. I gotta obliterate this. I don't want to see. The end is coming. This play is pretty good. Reporting for duty. I don't know if we're ever going to need this timeout. I think I cut the timeout. Oh. This is going to be like the absolute highest end deck. Holy cow. I see a vision into flames. If you're holding a dragon, discover a spell.
Hmm. Oh my god, Doombox, 27 months since I subbed on my first day of chemotherapy, and I'm 19 months cancer-free as of tomorrow. Been a wild ride, thanks for taking it with me. Dude, that is... Oh, that's a great card. So, so happy to hear that, man. Ah, that's that's fantastic. I will be your duty. Cool. I'm... A good turn. So now we don't have anything to really exploit the empty board. Now we do. So we have to play this out to make sure that we have the correct number of cards next turn. Because we're going to be at 9. We'll play this, go down to 8, redraw a Lich King card to be at 9, and then we'll draw a card. back on Hearthstone again, man. It feels good except for this neck cramp. Oh. Great. I am looking a little little dry on health, huh? No problem. Yeah, the Benevolent Gen, I still think I kind of want. I still like a Benevolent Gen more than a timeout. It feels more active. Oh. Put your faith in the light. Whoa. You are not welcome here. Fucking whoa. Woo. God dang. Fuck. I'm doing this to heal, man. So I think after one more swing we're enough, or maybe we're enough for the Zundalari Templar already. Holy shit, all my cards being used against me. Puppy. <laughs> Deck tracker's borking a little bit. For justice. So I think this actually gives me enough. Yeah. Uh, Feels good, man. Don't get me wrong. This is tough to punch through. Probably just gonna get psychic screamed and killed. Whoa! Dude, the fire tree witch doctor owned us. Looks like there's a BM death coming up. Alright, we're gonna win. <laughs> Mind blast! Oh. Oh. All right. I think we. I think we throw down. I hate to say, it, but we can't put it on our Zandalari friend. Oh, we 
So we got a little bit of legs. A little bit. Maybe we win, maybe we win, maybe we don't. Let me change your mind. Standard BH. Alright, I feel like this deck has merit, but we keep, like, narrowly losing. <laughs> 